Hello, this is Kramer 2, and I'm back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. This is the DLC. Well, let's get even more fun on the row. Okay, it's still the same. Now let's talk to Joker. Okay, later, when this is over and everything is settled, we are gonna talk about this bait thing. Uh, Joker? Your neck. What's up, Commander? Your neck. Just. Uh. Glad Liara's on this. If anybody can sift through a mountain of boring stuff to find that one critical clue, it's her. Yeah, yeah, Ashley. <laughs> Why don't you love me? <laughs> hey, Shepard. The restaurant attack has made the news. Civilian casualties seem to have been restricted to fish. <laughs> okay. Hello, Shepard. Hey, James. Hey, so how about that part where I rescued you from certain death, huh? Maybe a surveillance camera caught it. Anyway, Brooks is kind of cute. Wonder if she's on the market. Shepard. Okay. Uh, speak to squad mates. Okay. Now where is where is the Javik? Ah, there you are, dude. Commander, in my cycle, when we fled combat by falling through tanks containing aquatic animals, we usually Oh right. We never did. <laughs> You are a trailblazer. <laughs> Commander. Uh, well, he can't give any storage from that. Shepard, I've found something. We can gather the team whenever you're ready. Uh, speak to Brooks then. Uh, not complaining. I'm gonna have to write a report about getting shot. I hear those are really complicated. It's faster if you make a template. I think maybe you get shot too much. <laughs> I'm watching Dr. Tassoni work. It's inspiring. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, wait. Is that all of my squad mates? Oh, yeah, yeah. Garus and Tali are dead. <laughs> I'm compiling data on the gun for Dr. Tassoni. She should have the results momentarily. Okay. Basically, you all do all the work, not Liara. Greetings, Commander. I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Sure. Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Con out. <laughs> so that's our identity thief. Yes. Using disguisers on a public terminal. No leads there. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? Huh? No, but the truth is boring. Okay. Whoever that voice was, Khan's nervous enough to cut them loose. We can squeeze Khan until a contact drops out. Easier said than done. He has a panic room inside the casino, a good place to hole up. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear, or worse. If his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. 
You can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team. No gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Uh, too convenient. There's gonna be alarms all over that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op-In, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? <laughs> you said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? Of course! Your desk... Um, okay, how do you say that again? Never mind. That's the plan, Brooks. Get whatever you need and be ready. I care about combat like lines. There's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. Oh shit. Uh, let's. Suck appearance? No? Ah oh, well. Welcome aboard, Ashley. Let's have an actual date this time. Oh god, <laughs> that didn't load up in proper time. Oh god, that guy! It's back! He's back! Good, commander. Lean and lean. That creepy bug guy. Kill him. Kill him, you fire. Pleasure later. Mm, sir, yes, sir. How are you so calm? Well, you did run under a reaper while it fought a Thresha Maw, so this is no big deal for you. Relax. Okay, let's talk with the guests. What do you have? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Thessian Temple coming up. Are Asari drinks usually mild? Not all of them. Mr. Khan had us put out some gelatin shots earlier. Also Asari. They kick like a shotgun. Evening. What's popular today? Well, some adventurous souls are trying to mind fish. It's what Hanar like to do instead of alcohol. Huh. Then I guess since they're mostly water, the dehydration would be bad. Right. So there's this fish with hallucinogenic skin oil. Gets Hanar buzzed right up. What happens if humans eat it? Way more potent. And it releases into our system slowly. Best to clear your schedule for the entire weekend. No, I was going to make her more. What can I do for you? I'm curious. What's the craziest thing you've ever served up? Well, there's the Barak. That's a Krogan drink you set on fire, put out, then drink from a skull and not cut. Well, there's the Weeping Heart. That's a martini with Drell skin venom. The venom's pretty mild, though. Oh, wait. A Volus Bina. The alcohol puts you on the floor, and the ammonia lets you clean up the mess you made. If you live. Ooh, that nasty. Oh, hold on. <laughs> <coughs> Think I catch the cold <laughs> today. Ooh. 
And that's all, let's see. For shame. Evening, officer. Sir. No. Commander? I'm upstairs. I know. So, to sum up, tomorrow starts with the Help a Dream Foundation, then it's blood drive, refugee camp, and hospital tour. <laughs> Sounds like you turned pro. I try. Ms. Rios believes we have an obligation to the less fortunate. Of course. So how are you liking the party so far? There's a party? <laughs> Rios. I feel like I should know that name. I did a little acting, then in the 70s during the Blitz, I was named Goodwill Ambassador for Refugees. So I guess this kind of thing doesn't really impress you? Me? No. For the people who can get clothes because you bought a ticket? Much different story. Huh. Israels, it's getting late, and you have a full schedule ahead. Don't handle me, Noah. If I reach one more person before we leave, that's a family of four who can eat tomorrow. Reach how? The price of admission isn't the only help to give. If you drop some credits at the games, it goes straight to refugees. Have I told you today that you're beautiful, Ms. Rios? Yes, Noah. And I presume you mean on the inside. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, we're going to run these preconstructions. Okay, good to know. Now, where is to talk to? Hmm, nothing here. Upstairs. Whenever you're ready. Well, I'm not ready. Evening, officer. Yeah, that's, this is the coolest story I never. Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarren. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it. So, the honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. Okay. <laughs> I'm debating whether I should report you to security. Oh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug if I got you thrown out of here? Possibly. I'd like to see you explain my wicked motives right after you explain why you have a radio in your ear. Well, since I don't see you turning me in either, I gather you're no friend of Khan's. <laughs> Khan doesn't have friends. Anyone who says otherwise is deluding themselves. So is Khan part of your game tonight? No, I simply sheer... No. What do humans call it? I fleece his guests. Then there's no harm in telling me what his weaknesses are. I've studied him. He's ruthless and rich, but not very bright. Temperamental. Doesn't deal well with the unexpected. He's also used to letting other people handle things he doesn't understand. Like his security. Well, that's quite an assessment. Do I owe you anything? No. We do what we do because there are wrongs that need righting. Wrongs I address are simply pettier than yours. Then I guess we know where we stand, Mr. Quarren. Enjoy the evening, Commander. Well, something interesting about Diralam, and uh, he also, in the uh, Cerberus Daily News, when it was still canon, and he he stole the some uh, New York City uh, Christmas ball, uh, one that is pretty much always. You know, put on the so huge ass Christmas tree in New York City, and and he stole that. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the hell is that. I see the security gate. Okay, that's great, but we gotta wait on that until I reach the end of the duct. Hmm, let's talk to them later. Actually, I'm gonna talk to them now. The thing about Solarian parties is, they all do it too well. I don't follow my lab group on Sir Kesh. All Solarians but me. 
all with damn near perfect memories. Oh, that could get awkward. Exactly. It was all about who burnt the cake six months ago, or arguments the two people continue when they meet up once a year. So they never let anything go? Yeah, it was constant one-upmanship. <laughs> I couldn't keep pace with them if I wanted to. <laughs> oh, Ooh, now I want Salarian party. So you don't miss Sarkesh at all? Not the humidity and not the lack of privacy. But the science was uh, like nowhere else. What did you work on? What didn't we? Food scanners for the paranoid, chemical bonders, self-cleaning mating pools. Learned a lot, huh? For the mating pools, uh, way more than I wanted to know. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> that must be nasty. Hey again, back for more tales out of school? Sure. Andrew was just saying the Salarians came up with satellites that eat orbiting debris. So their space is not cluttered like ours. Nice trick. What won't they think of next? Hair extensions, I imagine. <laughs> okay. Sailor Coast. <laughs> but yeah, now I'm interested in Salarian parties. Casually. And there, there's still some few to talk to, but uh I'm gonna do it in the next round. Let's do it later. Mm. Ah. Now where is she says so she is? Ah, there. Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Dr. Tassoni gave me this to pass to you. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. Okay. Let's dance. <laughs> oh god, with those creepy eyes. <laughs> This is worse than the little man's eyes and the, and he, the shepherd's red eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well. Wow, Ashley knows how to dance. I like shepherd. Do it, girl. Do it, girl, for me. Oh yeah. Now let's stop dancing. Enjoying the party? Young people party. I drink. Tonight it's ring call on the rock. That stuff can put you down for the count. I just lost a staggering amount of income. This puts things in perspective. Need a few credits for a ride home or anything? Oh no, it's not like that. You know about all those helium-3 facilities that are getting wiped out? I've flown by a few. Well, to put it in layman's terms, most of those facilities were mine. What? I don't think I introduced myself. Uh, Jonah Ashland of Eldfell Ashland Energy? Shepard. Pretty fancy night out for someone worried about his financial future. It was my daughter Aisha's idea. She's got a good heart, though she's going through a little self-absorbed stage. You make it sound like she's troubled. My love for her is unlimited. She just gives me a lot of opportunities to prove it. But I'm pretty sure she can change. You don't bet against something like that. Not even here. Oh, okay. Look at them all down there. Twenty years ago, you'd have never seen a shindig like this. Humans and Turians together like it's nothing. Council species all concerned about the fate of Batarians. Everybody trying to have sex with the Asari. That's not new. Just seeing if you were awake. So, 
All these species in one room? Yes. Nobody's afraid of each other anymore. If we win this thing, the galaxy's going to be a pretty great place. I'll drink to that. <laughs> ah, nice for you to, uh, to talk to him. Or that's right. Wait. Oh god, this guy is here too. Ah. <laughs> um. Okay. So much talk to the bartender. Looks like the gods. It's a. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Okay. But first. Hmm. Hmm. This guy's not staring at me. Now, let's bypass the camera. That's not very safe with this guy staring at me. This place is in. Yeah. There's another person to mingle. Oh no. That's all. Oh, hello Shiara. Commander Shepard. I thought I might find someone dangerous. Is that Conrad? I'm Shaira. Yes, the famous Asari consort. I know who you are. No, you have heard of me. That is something entirely different. Point taken. Ah, we never talked. This guy looks completely like Conrad Werner, but he's not. Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Celia Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here. And they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Huh. Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering, how does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder and just a little longer than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. Yes, and that looks like Conrad Werner. 